now uh, that we get from a lot of our viewers. It's all about the fireplace. This is from Shirley. Shirley, what would you like to ask Tiffany today? Hi, Tiffany. Thank you for taking my call. My, I'm sorry, my question. <laughs> it is um, a call. <laughs> it's a call from the crowd. <laughs> there you go. We bought a house from Plans, and um, we just had. I just had a question on uh, fireplace placement. Um, the fireplace. Did I say fireplace? I'm sorry. TV and fireplace and furniture placement. It's it's not a wide room. It's only 12 by 18. Yep. And um, any suggestions would be great. Can I just say 12 by 18 in city is mm -hmm. like, that's like a palace. So <laughs> don't feel so bad. Okay. It's not that yeah. small. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, it's really small. And yeah. I'm like, well, we can figure this out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I think that textures are king. When you're doing a space like this, it's so important to really maximize your textures. And I hate the two black rectangles in the room. So mm -hmm. we have the TV and the fireplace. So anything that will take your eye away from the two black rectangles is awesome. I yeah. love putting fabric in a space like that because you have spots that are so glass and static and, and hard looking mm -hmm. that tempering that with the tension of a fabric or a wallpaper is amazing. So I've done a little sketchy sketch <laughs> and I'm taking just this one spot. I looked at a very brief floor plan. So she explained that there was windows on either side of, the, of this area where the fireplace and TV will reside. And I thought doing floor to ceiling in the center section with a fab, like fabulous fabric, graphic, interesting, dark background so that it sort of blends in with the television is a really cool idea. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the placement. They're one on top of the other. Again, sticking really graphic. The windows face out to the street. So she was talking about privacy. What am I going to do? So I recommended doing half frosted so it still goes with that graphic feeling. But then we're going to temper both sides because the windows basically frame this area. Mm -hmm. So a beautiful linen drape that's hanging on either side, a nice neutral color, dark, beautiful rods across the very top of the ceiling. So if we're doing floor to ceiling fabric, we're going to take those rods right up to the ceiling so our eye goes up. And then I was like, you know, Know what we can use a little <laughs> evening dove so evening dove is like a beautiful navy black color oh, that's nice so it's not quite black but it's you know it's gonna blend with the whole deal then we got the love seats to face the TV some consoles some occasional chairs some poofs because we can make it all fab lots of seating lots of fabulous <laughs> lots of texture <laughs> boom shakalaka <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Boom shakalaka. Uh, I don't know. I love it. <laughs> okay, Shai, we got time for, for one more yeah. for you. Uh, this one comes in from uh, the West Coast. Yep. Needing some advice on an oddly shaped living uh, living and dining room for furniture placement. Yeah. So it's a downtown um, It's a downtown location. It's not a ton of space, but it's oddly spaced. Right. So, you know, this is, we see these in, in, in a lot of city condos, is that, you know, the builders look for every piece of square footage that they can give you, and sometimes it comes in on an angle, and they're yeah. like, oh, I don't know what to do with my furniture. So angles are really going to be about softening those angles. And how do we soften angles? Soften them using circles or, or circular mm. shapes. So this is a beautiful, you know, si uh, windows on one side and on the other. But it comes to, as you notice here, into a point. Yeah. And then what do you do? So there's some more pictures over here. So we did a little floor plan. And you notice here that I've done dining and living. So. Mm -hmm. I've taken advantage of this really long wall that she has here. Now it is a window wall, so you're gonna have to have a sofa that has a lower back, something a little bit more contemporary, but use that space for a sofa, because sofas tend obviously to be rectangular or square, so yeah. you wanna make sure that you use that space for that. And then to soften this really harsh corner with a round dining table, you can add a buffet or a console there if you want to. Actually, I did do that, it's right there. And um, you know, a, an oval table and some, uh, armless chairs uh, in front of the sofa because that'll make the space feel a lot more open and a lot less um, uh, closed off. 